I hope everybody had a nice wild card weekend. I hope you won some money, just like I did. Thank fucking God for Cody Parkey. Holy fuck. But anyways, three takeaways. And we'll, we'll get this shit right going. The Colts, they're real. They're fucking good. They are. They dominate the line of scrimmage. They are fucking... Whew. The defense, I will say, I think they're a year away from a championship defense, but they're going to be there. And they have what? They have millions and millions of dollars in cap room. So everyone's saying they're going to be a dynasty. Yep, it's going to happen. They're going to be a fucking dynasty. Maybe not a 10-year dynasty. It's going to look a lot like the Seahawks. It's going to be a few years where they're going to be fucking good. Next. The Eagles are just better with Foles. I'm, I mean, I don't know if he's necessarily better than Wentz, but the team is just better with him. I don't understand. The hockey gods didn't like us here in Canada this year, but the fucking football gods love Philly. They are, I mean, the breaks that they've gotten with Minnesota losing. And, and first of all, if you're the Bears, you, you literally picked this matchup. Could have sat the boys versus the Vikings, but you're like, fuck this, we're gonna, we're gonna stomp these guys right now, <laughs> and then you get fucking jolly old Saint Nick. Not a very good decision there. So, and and it wouldn't be crazy if he beat the Saints. I'm just saying, but yeah, Nick Foles, the man's fucking ridiculous. This is like legendary at this point what he's done this is fucking ridiculous if he does it next year holy fuck but uh the lamar jackson shit is not sustainable it's not that's the second time the chargers saw him that's not the fifth sixth seventh time that's not a divisional team that's seen him every fucking two weeks that's the second time they saw him and they shut him down he couldn't do anything he looked like a college quarterback in the nfl I mean, I don't think it's sustainable at all. Next year, they might go with them again next year, but you, if you can't throw, you, you're you not winning. You're just not. And as much as Flacco sucks ass, I mean, you got to go with Lamar next year, but he's not going to be sustainable. I guarantee you the Steelers and the Browns and the Bengals are going to look at what's been going on these past few weeks, and they're going to... They're going to shut him down. 